trying to hide from me? Hmm? You think you're sneaky? Oh! You've been found. frame mating nuke that I've got here and see if we had any success and we got some bees coming and going here I haven't seen any pollen coming in yet that doesn't necessarily mean anything they might be kind of should be getting robbed I don't know not, not a lot of lot coming in now but the other colonies Come in with lots of pollen. I can show you that. Although I'll probably, I'll probably uh, have some footage of that, some B-roll. Hopefully, you can see what they're bringing in. I'm just on my phone here, so it is what it is. But let's break into this and see if we got a. Made a clean back or not. Stung in the Assuming you guys can see this on the camera. It's right there. And I should have, uh, should have brought a pen to marker. This two way, or this uh, two frame uh, mating nuke is just screwed down there. You can see, put these little feet on it. And I just put a screw on each opposite corner. That way it doesn't blow over. Better notes or actually look at my notes would be nice. But uh, I don't know if I could do this with one hand, I guess. I'm just smoking from the top here. And... and then maybe I can lift here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like. 
started drawing those out too much yet. So there's not a whole lot we need to do here. I don't suspect they're uh, making cells in the bottom with that room that they've got in the top. But we've got these all the way across this box, as you can tell. And I've robbed some from these as well. And then of course they've worked up into this uh, medium here as, as well. You can see they've got some drone brood there on the bottom of these combs. I think they're kind of using that as the perimeter of their brood nest, which I think she's still probably laying down here in the bottom box as well. I guess they have started uh, drawing that one out a little bit there. We can probably pull a few frames, I guess, on this. I'll have to set you guys down. Okay, so here she is. I think I've got her in frame, right? Yeah. There she is. And this this has been, uh, I think I put this frame in here two weeks ago. <laughs> Which doesn't make a lot of sense because this is already capped. So they had to have, like, gotten on this, like, right away which i've noticed they will with this uh and i didn't even add any extra to this premier foundation but they seem to really like it it's got a good smell to it you can tell they haven't even finished drawing out around the around the borders it's like they started working the wax you come up lay in it and they uh they must have started right away i don't, I don't really know why she's on this frame because there's no way this is emerging brood. Like I said, this was uh, just foundation two weeks ago. So she may have the bottom laid up pretty good and she's just, you know, trying to find something to lay on here. These bees are pretty calm. If they weren't pretty calm when I got this colony, this is one of the ones that, uh, this is the one of one of the ones that got a little bit too much uh, ape guard and they requeen. The queen that used to be in this was a really dark black queen. And, uh, and her daughter is not. So there you go. Let me get her back in here. So they can continue on. You just kind of see the temperament of these bees. They're very docile. Of course, I think we got some stuff coming in now. Those other two frames that I pulled out were uh, were pretty full, and I'm not feeding right now. I stopped feeding about uh, oh, I guess a little less, about a week ago, just kind of in preparation for the incoming nectar. I don't want to feed within a few weeks of when I start putting supers on, so. Get her back in here. Also, I think it's important to note these were, uh, these were overwintered as a single here in Oklahoma, and you can kind of see how they're building up now. And I have already taken, I took three frames Full, full frames of cat brood from these, this colony already this year. And you can kind of tell what they've, they've got the whole bottom just slammed and then she's, uh, you know, already come up here and started working on this medium. So the bees are doing pretty good this year uh, across the board. This one's doing, doing real good. Can I see the traffic coming in? Saw some dark orange pollen there and some more dark orange. I guess these bees like dark orange. There's some light yellow there too. That dark orange again. Okay, so this is the uh this is what I used as my uh starter finisher here. Now I just gave them a uh for now I just gave them a frame of uh eggs and larvae so they could go ahead and just make some cells and maybe make a queen because I'm not grafting for a little while. I've only got so many resources to make mating nukes and such. So I'm gonna do a round, evaluate those queens, and then uh, and do another round, not trying to overload myself. So they're always making a bunch of noise and shenanigans here, but there's a few of them bringing in pollen. So that's what's going on with this colony. And there's a bunch of bees in there, um, just not a queen. 
the moment, there's probably, well, yeah, they, have, they, they wouldn't have emerged yet from when I put the uh, frame in there, I don't think. I have to look at my notes, but I did, um, I did put a few queen cells in, you know, just regular size nukes to mate. A lot of these are empty, by the way, but uh, I've got some in, in uh, this one here and then one of those orange ones over there. I'll be ready to uh, check um, these next week, I believe. They're bringing them pollen. Because that two, that two framer over there is a week ahead of my graphs. This is from my, my uh, set of graphs here. So I should be able to check and see if there's a uh, made queen in there next week. And then uh, here's the rest of the colonies over here. You can see I've got this long aluminum stand here. Got plenty of room for some more colonies here. And then I've got my original uh, stand here with the with the cedar boards and the and the cinder blocks. And this should be plenty here for the home air area. I don't think I'll ever want to have more bees than this. And I can show you my uh, my mating castles. Uh, later but uh i'll show you the landing boards real quick that's pollen going in here this colony ought to be doing fantastic because they were in that uh they were in that box right there but um i robbed from these which i think i showed that in the video um like this is the queen that's got like part of her wing missing but i robbed from her to make all my mating nukes and so I just had, I left, left her two frames um, and of course all the, all the field force and put her in a five frame nuke here. Um, so they ought to be building up pretty good. And that was the box that they were in. I just turned it around and left it out here so I don't have to carry it in. This is my original. <clears throat> Let me move the smoke over here. This is my original um, hive. Now, obviously it's not the original queen that I had, but it's, it's uh one of her uh, direct descendants and that uh, this is the first box that I had here and I do not really feel that those beetle gates are worth it by the way but I was trying some stuff out back in the day and some, no reason to take it off it's on there those bees didn't really like me right there in the front entrance another colony here it's another one of my uh, uh, kind of original colonies, I guess you would say, descended from the uh, second cutout I ever did probably here. A lot of bees in that box. Then over here, go ahead, give me flack. Get at it, oh, this bee's giving me flack. She's from that colony over there and uh, like many beekeepers, I think she doesn't like the flow hive, which is rude. These bees should be able to do what they want to do. Go away. There's a decent amount of bees in there as well. I overwinted them in the, in the single eight frame here so that I can uh, try out the, uh, the flow super. I bought this used. But I went ahead and uh, put, I went ahead and put uh, just some frames and stuff up here so that they didn't get uh, overcrowded and try to swarm on me. I still got that bee attacking me, but whatever. And uh, I'll probably get in a few of these and maybe show you guys how they're doing. Okay, so this is the flow hive here. As you can see, they're starting to, well, maybe you can see, they're starting to draw some of these out. They work their way up into at least these frames here directly on above the main portion of their brood. Some of these frames in the bottom are pretty packed with honey, but uh, from last year. But they're doing nice building up. I don't think they're uh, gonna swarm on me or anything, which is what I want. Eventually I'll just take this 
top box off probably and slap the super right on the on the single here see if they fill it the flow super anyway not sure it's, i'm just kind of playing around with the uh the flow super since i got it used off of facebook with some other equipment that i wanted so figure why not you guys can see these drones in here see we got one there bunch of orange on them there's there's some drones right here i was gonna show you because i saw a pretty black drone i don't know where he went i'm just gonna kind of highlight that because it has to be drift in the drones at least the way i think about it because they're not fertilized eggs so if they look different they had to have come from different queens correct me if i'm wrong on that i guess but you can see we got a pretty good chunk of bees up here in the second box maybe we'll peek down in the bottom and kind of see what we've got down there as well i don't know if i can even do this one handed and these bees are going to be the more rude group of bees that we'll be into today Nobody came out and stung me actually but you can kind of see we got wall-to-wall -wall bees here on the bottom and this is a box actually that i reversed and i stole some frames from so you can kind of see i think probably four or five of these up in the top maybe more Probably these five here I stole to make up uh, some of some of them were, were used to make up those nukes I was talking about over there. And so this box that's on the bottom used to be on the top and I put it on the bottom since they were she was up there in the top just laying it wall to wall so that they would build up um kind of a dark drone over there in there. So that she would uh build up and start working on this uh, other box a little bit faster than if I left it on the bottom and they'd have to move down. It, it really doesn't matter that much, but that's what I've done anyway. So, I, think these, I don't think these guys are going to swarm this week, so we'll put them back together. Here are the mating nukes. They are four-way queen castles. And they're they're made out of mediums out of necessity because i don't have enough deep boxes but there's two frames in each steel so these two don't have anything in them you can see how that works let's just get a little slit ripped in there you got an entrance here an entrance here an entrance here and an entrance here all four sides Oh yeah, I've been missing that. Where'd you find it? What leaves? I saw, I saw something there, but it's brown leaves. So I, I covered. Got thin a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, it goes to my table, so. You can put it in my shop? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I appreciate that. And then this is how you can feed them here. These bottles.
go. Check this out. I am budget brand B man. That's right. I don't don't have a parrot, but I do have a pigeon. So, you can like and subscribe, and like I said, it's a budget, it's free. He had a little bit of a boo-boo here, so that's why he's inside. He did two feet, or her, don't know the gender. He's doing good. There's him, there's him back to health. Catch you later.